I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Unless you been on cloud 10 or under a rock How you heard the word? Now that boy Drizzy, Drake Just did his second diss track to Kendrick Lamar But on this one He from Tupac Tupac Shakur Back from the dead Oh you ain't know? Let me take y'all back. Yeah. You can see it in my eyes again. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, power move. Cause right now it's looking like you writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? Doubt you know the DOG never doubted you. But right now it seem like you posted up without a clue. Or what the you about to do? Yeah, um, that's the truth. Alright, now we are the speed. Wack 100. Now, if you don't know who Wack 100 is, you're on the wrong channel, my boy. But anyway. Wack 100, who's also a native of K-Dots from Bompton, Compton, whatever you want to call it, however you rock, that's neither here nor there. But he was on this Clubhouse episode recently. Let me tell you again, they both from the same hood, K-Dot and Wack 100. Wack 100 is well known, well respected in a lot of places. He's games manager. And Blueface manager, if you don't know who he is, but on the episode of Clubhouse recently, he said, even if Kendrick respond, he already lost. And I agree with him. But let's get into it. Kendrick lost, even if he responds, it's over. Bro, man. I just said this. Why same. is that? Man, that nigga Drake, you that nigga what Drake. Drake just did? Drake, Drake, Drake just came out with it. Yeah. Oh, there's a he new song? that nigga with the Tupac Snoop. Snoop Dogg. Oh, Alright, nigga. Let me go look. It's and over. then came in rapping. It's over with because if he come back, I said this, I said if he take too long, it's over with. If he come back, it's like the nigga Drake made him to come back. Yeah. Alright, now we back Of course, if y'all like this content Hit like, comment, share It don't really cost you nothing Plus it helped me, you know, with the algorithm and whatnot So I can keep giving y'all these videos And keep even feel like giving y'all these videos To be honest You know what I mean But I I'm, I thank you for your time that you're sharing with me You know what I mean But um, let's get, let's get into this news Despite, I don't care how you feel. I don't agree with the AI thing in a sense. And I'm not being biased when I say this. The way Drake used that AI in that dead song is one of the main reasons while all of these guys are teaming up like the fucking bootleg Avengers to take one person down. That was clever. Because y'all got to put it in the sense of understanding what happened with this. He wrote the whole rhyme. Drake wrote the whole rhyme. But after he wrote the rhyme, he got the AI voice to change the voice. Not the wordplay. Change the voice to sound like Tupac. Basically trying to give Kendrick pointers on how to beat Drake. But he basically Eminem. Him. All the things you really could possibly say about Drake. He said it to himself in a Tupac voice. To Kendrick. In the second verse. Snoop Dogg. He also wrote that part too. And I'm going to show you, this is a clip that uh, his reaction to it, Snoop Dogg reaction that is, 
if you pay attention to the clip, he really smirked and was like surprised, like, who, me? This? Check it out. They did what? When? How? Are you sure? Huh. <sighs> You look at him, you see what I'm saying? You got to pay attention to how he's doing it. The smirk. (laughs) And then he like not say nothing at all, but just casually showing y'all the death row. Sign on the hoodie. He basically showing y'all. You think Drake did that without okaying it with him first? That's why he show y'all that death row. Just think about it. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't care if you wasn't a Drake fan. That's clever. He broke him down. Then he even, he even said that the next song is going to bring out the coward in him, in Kendrick. And, and people trying to analyze this whole little situation like Drake got to be a bad guy because all these people teaming up on him. That ain't that ain't what this is, man. It's I can relate to this because I was like that. So I know exactly what's going on in this situation. None of them from day one never liked Drake at all. Why? Well, first of all, he is black, but his father's black. His mom's white and Jewish. So, you know, he's like he had a pretty boy image. He wasn't the street guy. You know what I'm saying? The one that'll shoot you. You know what I mean? The ones that call every woman in the world, even somebody mom's a bitch. You know what I mean? He wasn't like that. He wasn't that representing hip hop. He showed his vulnerability. He showed how to he was an actor, smart. You know what I mean? Almost like the nerd, like Revenge of the Nerds type of thing. This is what's going on right now. This is like some Revenge of the Nerds shit. Years and years and years since day one, they didn't want to accept him. They only used him to grow, grow their clout to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. These are facts. And much as I love Future and Rick Ross, these are facts. I don't love them, no Diddy, more than I rock with Drake, though. He can do all the things that them guys can do, but they can't do what he can do. All the women going to love him. He can get all the women they was with. He ain't attached to none of them. He not the one attached to none of these women. He don't matter what it is. Future and all of them saying he's all this pillar talking and all that, but y'all are the only ones falling in love with all these women that y'all supposed to be sharing. This ain't, yeah, people say Drake did subliminal disses forever, years and years and years, but so have all the other people. They picked on that man for years. He's the soft little crybaby singing guy. We the real street nigga that sold these drugs and shit. We 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 them dumb ass nigga that sold. We them niggas. So we should be running this. Not this corny looking ass half white Jewish black guy. Ain't no way he better than all of us. Ain't no way he getting his deals are better than ours. Jay-Z the greatest of all time to me. Drake done surpass him as far as stats. And that's a lot to say. No, he ain't passed him as far as his fame and money, but he passed him in like the stats when it come to this shit in the less time. He Steph Curry this shit, man. And all of them, all of them that's, that's beefing against him that's still relevant today, majority of that reason is because of Drake. Hell, even the little diss records they made that went number one is because they're dissing Drake. Do you not understand the power of this guy? They can feel how they want to feel about it. They can come up with all these type of excuses of why a nigga fake or this and that. Nah. They ain't what this is. They never liked Drake at all. They pretend to like Drake to get what they could get out of him. And now they got their name up high enough where they don't need Drake no more. Now their true colors are showing. And I think that's something that he been peeped a while ago. Why he even said in his, his show, 
it's a blur to her when it like that verse first came out and he said he was like moving on in the future or something like that you got to learn from the mistakes of your past that's basically what he meant by that he gave them away yeah you were going to say that they gave him away with the street credibility but Drake didn't need that from Rick Ross or no future you got to remember when he first came in the fucking game J Prince Jr his son the son introduced to the dad J Prince and we all know how big J Prince is mob ties J Prince was already tied into Drake before Drake even met Wayne and Birdman. So now we got Birdman, Wayne, J Prince. You think he need them other guys street credibility? Nah, he was gonna find his way regardless. Regardless. And if there are only real reasons to saying that he's pillar talking over women and all this shit that y'all trying to claim, bro, y'all just trying to hide the real truth, man. Y'all just mad because this nigga really came. Y'all ain't expect him to run y'all over like that. Nah, that is a little punk ass nerdy nigga. We gonna use him. They trying to 6 9 him like they did. Like Shadi did 6 9 they try to do that to him. But it ain't work because he was just smarter. And now he got 50 cent on his side. So it's, it's really over for y'all. 50 cent is on his side. And it makes sense. Just think about the first diss track. The who kid tag. He's sending a message to y'all. The 50. Got me feeling like I'm 50. Drop and give me 50. It's a lot of like. Just take back and listen, man. But I, I agree. It don't matter. He can respond with his quadruple, blueple, whatever you want to call it. It's already over for K Dot. It's over. And I love to see it. Because it's been so long in the, since the beginning of the time, people can't be comfortable in their own skin. They can't be themselves. You a man, you can't have your feelings hurt and all this stupid shit they got us. We can't fall in love with women or whatever they want to call it, bro. I'm I'm glad. I love to see this. Like I said in a video prior to this, I hope he annihilate every single one of them. He don't need them. They need him. And the only thing they did is let him be who he really want to be now. He don't got to pretend with y'all niggas no more. So he going to annihilate y'all, bro. That was just a dumb decision. Over niggas and their feelings. Y'all already was using them. Y'all should have kept it how y'all going, kept it kosher. But it looks like it's a little bit too late now. And I love to see it. But let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Leave a comment. Like, share. It don't cost nothing. It's free. And it helps me to help y'all. Till next time. Yours truly. Heartbreak Ace.